In this lesson, we'll cover viewing and creating levels. So up to this point, we've created a new project from the architectural template or the residential template inside of Autodesk Revit. Now, if you use the residential template, you should see the plan views that you see on my screen in the lower left. Bottom of footing, basement, first floor, second floor, foundation, and roof. And there's others too as well. There should be a level for each one of these floor plans or each one of your major floors, or in this case, levels. To view our levels, let's go down to the section for elevations. Click the plus to the left of elevations. Once you do that, double click on east. This will open the east elevation. And if you zoom in to the very right side of your screen, you'll see the name of the viewable levels that you currently see. Now you may say, well, Okay, I see the roof, the second floor, first floor, and foundation. Again, providing you created this project from the template called residential. But you may say, well, okay, but Tim, you have other actual levels, other plans here, but I don't see those, such as TO footing or BO footing or basement. Where are those? Well, either they exist or don't exist. And in this case, they do exist. You just visually can't see them in this view. They're hidden. So one way to see if something is hidden in the view is to actually look. The way to look on the bottom of your screen is to click on the light bulb, and that light bulb will reveal hidden elements. So go ahead and click the light bulb. Once you do, you'll see in this view, I have three other levels that I can turn on, basement, top of footing, and bottom of footing. Now to turn those on, just select all three of those. You can either drag a window over them, or just click on each one and hold the control key. Now, after you've selected those, right click your mouse and click unhide in view elements. That will unhide those three elements in this view. What they'll do is gray out inside of this view because it's showing me what is hidden and what isn't hidden. Now to turn off the mode of revealing hidden elements, click the light bulb again. That light bulb will go out and it'll close that window, and now you can actually see the other levels inside of this view. Now let's say you started with a template that didn't have all of these levels and didn't have all of these plans. How would you go about creating a new one? And I'm just gonna create one for reference in this example. We're not really gonna use it, but let's say you had to create a new one. For example, if you didn't have the second floor level, how would you create one? Well, to do that, we'll use the level command. That will allow us to create the level line, just like you see here. And it'll also ask us if you want to create a corresponding floor plan. For example, what we see over here on the left side of my screen. So to create a level, let's go to the architecture tab on the ribbon, all the way to the right in the datum area, you'll see level. Go ahead and click level. Now it's gonna ask you to start at a point and end at a point. Now the point you'll want to start with is the point that does not have the little call out or where the name of the level is at. So on my screen, it's going to be on the left. And let's say I wanted to create a level four feet above this current level that I have drawn here in this example. Now, if you didn't have the second floor drawn at nine feet, this is where you could place this in above the first floor. Dimensions can be changed after the fact. So don't really worry about if it's truly right or not as you're drawing. So I'm gonna click a point on the left, drag my mouse to the right, and as you drag, you can see the call out, in this case, the text for the level. Now it will align itself when you get to the right. You'll see the little dashed line appear. When you see that, go ahead and click. Now after you've clicked, it places that level. It'll continue to ask to create additional levels if you want. If you notice on my options bar across the top, the green area, there's an option for make plan view. If it's checked, it makes a plan view down here in the lower left for this given level. And I can see that it's called level eight on my screen and it reflects to the level name here on the window. Let's go ahead and exit out of the level command. Just hit the escape key and that'll stop the level command itself. Now, zoom in around the level. So once we have the level, the next thing is to correct or change the level name. So for example, if we wanted to call this the second floor or third floor, I'm just gonna use the example here for third floor. 
So what I can do is just slowly click the level name twice. Click once and then again, and then it'll come up and it'll let you edit the name. In this case, I'll type in third or third floor. Now, when you hit the enter key after typing, what Revit will do is ask you if you also want to rename the view that's in the lower left. So I renamed this level eight to third. It's asking me now, do you want to also change level eight in the lower left to third? In this case, click yes. And now you can see both are updated that I have the same name in the list on the lower left as I do on the level line. The last is to set the actual height of the level. Now the height is not from the level below, it's actually from whatever is considered zero or your ground level. So right now on my screen, this is showing it's 13 feet above wherever zero is located. So if I wanted this actually to be eight feet above the second floor, I would just add eight and nine, which is gonna give me 17, and I would change this now to 17 feet. And I can type in 17 feet, and then that will actually change this to 17 feet above zero. We're up in that location. The last step is if you need to change the arrangement or move the text a little bit for these level lines, if they kind of intersect or overlap. If you click the level line, you'll see a zigzag line or an elbow. If you click that elbow, it will split and show little control drag dots where you can actually drag the name and the extension of the level line wherever you want. To get it back, simply just drag the level lines and they move back to be in line with each other. Now, if you've created a level and a plan view that you don't want, you can simply select it. With it selected, hit your delete key and it'll ask you if you wanna also delete, in this case, the plan view, and I could say okay, and it deletes that off my screen. So as a review in this lesson, we looked at levels, how to visually turn on levels that are turned off or hidden, and how to create a level and adjust that level if we need to add them to our current plan.